Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your bro, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm going to explain adjacency lists in computer science. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. All right, what's going on everybody? Adjacency lists. An adjacency list is an array or an array list made up of linked lists. Each element is a separate linked list and each linked list can contain nodes. And each linked list has a unique node at the head. And basically speaking, to represent a graph, all adjacent neighbors to a node are added to that node's linked list. If we add an edge, we just add the address of that node to the tail. So let's begin. Let's create two classes, graph and node. File, new, class. This will be graph, finish, then file, new, class, node. Let's say we have some data, maybe just a single character, char data, and we'll create a constructor and then pass in some data, char data, this dot data equals data. Within our graph class, we need to create an array list of linked lists, array list, and the data type of what's going to be stored are linked lists. Now we need a data type for our linked lists. What are the linked lists going to store? Well, they're going to store nodes. Let's name this array list just a list for adjacency list. And let's create a graph constructor. And we will instantiate our adjacency list. A list equals new array list. Okay, let's declare some methods. We'll need an add node method. So public void add node. And there is one parameter, a node of the node data type. We'll need to add an edge, public void add edge. We'll need two indices, a source and a destination. Int source, int destination. We'll be able to check an edge, public void check edge. Again, we'll need a source and destination indices. And let's print our graph public void print. All right, now let's head to our main class and instantiate our graph. Graph, graph equals new graph. We're going to reuse a lot of the same code from the previous topic on adjacency matrices. So let's add some nodes. Graph.add node. And I will pass in an anonymous node. New node. And we need some data. So let's pass in the letter A. Let's copy this and create four additional nodes. So B, C, D, and E. And we need to create some edges. Again, I'm using the edges from the previous topic. So graph.addEdge. Each of these nodes has an index number. The first will be zero. The second will be one, then two, three, four. If I need an edge between nodes A and B, the index of node A is zero. That's the source, and the destination is B. That has an index of 1. So 0, 1. And let's fill in a few others. How about 1 and 2, 1 and 4, 2, 3, 2, 4, 4, 0, and 4, 2. Okay, so then at the end, let's print our graph, but we have not yet filled in the methods. So graph.print. Okay, so let's head to our graph class and fill in some of these methods. Let's begin with add a node. So in order to add a node, we first need to create a new linked list. So linked list, the data type of this linked list is nodes. And let's name this current list equals new linked list. After we create this new linked list, we can add a node to the linked list. Current list dot add node. Whenever we create a new node, we will also create a new linked list. And the new node will be at the head of the linked list. And lastly, we just need to add this linked list to our array list. A list dot add current list. Okay, then let's fill in the add edge method. I will declare a linked list and I'll just copy this linked list current list equals to add an edge to our adjacency list, we first need to get a linked list from the array list. So let's store that within current list. Current list equals to access our adjacency list, we will type a list 
dot get, and then an index, and that will be source. This will return a linked list. It's kind of like it's in two layers. We'll also need to know our destination node. So let's say node destination node equals, then we'll need to find the array list that this node is located at the head. Adjacency list dot get our destination index, then follow this with get zero. That is the head of our linked list. So this is the address of the node we would like to link to. And now we just need to add this node to the tail of our current list. Current list dot add destination node. And that's it. We're taking a node and adding it to the tail of a linked list. You can shorten this code if you would like to do so in less steps. You would just take this portion and replace current list with a list dot get source. Then you technically don't need this line, but it's a little more difficult to read, so you do you. Okay, this time let's check an edge. So we can copy these two lines of code, paste it. What we're going to do is iterate over our current linked list and see if there's a match between a node and our destination node. So let's use a for each loop and we will iterate over all of the nodes within our current linked list. So the data type is node, node in our current list. With an if statement, let's check to see if the current node that we're looking at is equal to our destination node, are these addresses the same? If so, then return true. If we escape the for loop, that means we did not find the node we were looking for, so let's return false. And the return type of this method is going to be boolean. Okay, we have one more method. We just need to print our adjacency list. We'll use nested for each loops. So we need to iterate over all of the linked lists within our array list. So for linked list, the data type is node, and let's name this current list. Iterate over every linked list in our array list, and then we'll need another for each loop for every node node in current list. Then let's use a print statement, print the node's data, then maybe I'll add an arrow for flavor to represent a linked list. Then outside of our inner for loop, let's print a new line. And that should be everything that we need, so let's run this. All right, so there is our adjacency list. Basically, an adjacency list is an array or an array list made up of linked lists. Each linked list has a unique node at the head, and all adjacent neighbors to that node are added to the node's linked list at the tail. The runtime complexity to check an edge is big O of V, V for the number of vertices. It's because we need to traverse a linked list linearly to find a matching node. And the space complexity for an adjacency list is big O of V plus E. V as in the number of vertices, E as in the number of edges. So yeah, that's an adjacency list. It's an array or an array list made up of linked lists. It's used to represent a graph. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this to the comment section down below. And well, yeah, those are adjacency lists in computer science.